The MBTA commuter rail of Boston is a rail system that covers 398 miles of track all year round. Through snow, rain, and sleet, the rails on the MBTA have lots to beat. And in today's episode of Boston Railroading Explained, we will be taking a look at the system that ensures the quality and safety of train tracks. Say hello to the geometry train. A geometry train is a train that tests the shapes and angles that a train track makes. Here's how the MBTA does it. Four times a year, Amtrak ships their Corridor Clipper track geometry testing car to the MBTA via the Northeast Corridor. From there, the car is dropped off at MBTA's Southampton Street Yard, where the geometry train set is built. The set must consist of a locomotive with proper head end power to provide the cars with electricity, a cab car to eliminate the need to flip the set around at the destination, and two blind coaches, which gives the geometry train enough cars to operate at legal track speed. Typically running every August, November, January, and June, the geometry train follows a rough schedule. On Saturday, they typically test the old colony lines, followed by Sunday, where they test the branch lines. By the way, there is no need to test the Northeast Corridor because Amtrak does that on their own. Monday is when the geometry train switches to the north side via the Grand Junction, but only after testing the entire Worcester line. And that is where I intercepted them. Finishing up their testing on the Worcester line this past June, we hear the geometry train call the Worcester line dispatcher, informing them about their plan to head to the north side. Typically, the geometry train runs all the way back to Cove Interlocking, just west of South Station, before turning back to the north side. But for some reason, they did not test the number 5 track from CP3 to Cove. Instead, they turned right around at CP3. This caught me completely by surprise, so I sprinted over to the Carlton Street Bridge, where the head end of the extra was stopped. So let's check out the consist while we have the chance. At the front, MBTA F40PH3C number 1035 is the leader, followed by two MBB coaches, the Corridor Clipper, and an MBB cab car. Before crossing over at the 3.3 switch and ultimately the Grand Junction branch, the geometry train had to wait for Keolis outbound 523 to clear CP3 before heading west. With 523 out of their way, the geometry train proceeded west to the switch.
While the geometry train was switching at CP3, we ran over to the banks of the Charles River to get a shot of the train passing over the Boston University Bridge. Here, we hear the geometry train talking to the north side dispatcher. From here, the geometry train will test the Newburyport, Rockport, and Haverhill lines on Tuesday, and Wednesday, the Lowell and Fitchburg lines. Then, Wednesday night, the Reedville Switcher, which you can learn about in many of my other videos, will take the geometry train back to the south side for Amtrak to take back home. In August 2022, I am once again out for the third rotation of the geometry train this year, being a Tuesday. I am out on the Newburyport-Rockport line. This morning, the geometry train is extra special. Here's why. On the MBTA, all trains heading out of Boston operate with a locomotive in front, while every train heading into Boston operates with a cab car leading. Only under special circumstances, such as during heavy storms when there is a risk of falling trees, or during weird extras, does an MBTA set get flipped around. Today's flipped geometry train would be following MBTA 105 into Rockport, with cab car 1511 leading outbound. And here, arriving into Rockport is 105. About half a mile west of Rockport Station is Nugent Stretch, a pull-off just off of Eastern Avenue. Here is where I saw the geometry train, traveling at about track speed, 65 miles per hour. Playing it safe, I waited at Nugent to see 105's turn, 110 pass inbound. Notice how here, the cab car is leading inbound, just how it's supposed to be. Following 110 out of Rockport was the geometry train with HSP 46, number 2015, leading to Beverly. At Beverly, the geometry train will flip around and head up to Newburyport. And that's all for that train, until this November. And you better believe I will be out for it. But until then, I will see you all again somewhere out there on the rails.